welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. If there's anything that has been happening recently, it is that these bunny fuckers, the aggressive furries, I'm, as I'm going to start calling them from now on, they're becoming more and more how can I put it? They don't give a fuck about what they're doing. Like, this guy. You're wearing red on a snowy map with bunny ears coming out the top of your head. Boy, you don't care about life, do you? Now, is this the equivalent of um, Black Air Force Ones? I, I don't think so. This is more like like black air force ones with the bottoms taken out of them you know what i'm saying i don't whenever i see somebody wearing a bunny outfit i just think like okay you really just don't give a fuck do you like i feel like they'll rush somebody with a pistol that's what i feel like black air regular black air force one people will rush you with a sumi because it makes sense right but that's just me and that's how i think so we're here on victorian station and we're walking around and I already know where people spawn at I know one person spawns like behind me right now so look to that direction to my left don't see anybody running walk up here to this train station here a comm station okay but first before I use said comm station well I thought I did that but never mind in the future I start checking around the comm station before I actually use the comm station. You never know when a rogue ass red container will pop up in front of you and you'd be like, well shit, now I gotta run across the map and stuff the airdrop. Or you can take that leap of faith and be a marked man, a marked man, excuse me, all the way through the map and carrying some, uh, carrying the hottest potato and trying not to get shot. But think about it like this. If I see somebody running with a with an airdrop in the middle of the map, I think I'd be going to the nearest comp station. So why why would not wait right there for them? And then stuff the airdrop as they're laying dead in front of the comp station, then pick it up. Yeah, the order matters. I got this mission here, people. And this mission is uh to headshot outlanders. Now you will see in uh, the video after this one, where I get pull out some more headshots, but uh, I decided to give myself a bit of a challenge on top of the regular challenge. I'm using an ADR. Now the ADR, as we all know, is fucking great. It's a laser, it hits hard, four shots to the chest and you're dead. And it's accurate as fuck. We all know that. But the iron sight, or the, yeah, well, I would say scope, but it's not really a scope. It's more like a yellow dot sight, if that makes any sense. It's, it's hard to look through that. It, it's hard to look through it. It's hard. The developers knew what they were doing because this weapon is powerful. Imagine if it had just a regular dot in the middle of the um, scope. Imagine that shit. If you're wanting me to pick up this phone, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm too stealthy to pick up a phone and go chase after somebody. Because as we've seen in a previous episode, I did pick up the phone and guess what a person was at? In a corner underneath a gun emplacement. So this person can legit be anywhere. As a matter of fact, I picked up the phone on field content one time in a crashed helicopter and the fucker was in a bush facing the phone. Like what? So here's something I want you all to uh, pay attention to about me. I don't like being near points of interest. And no, I don't mean crashed helicopter, scrapyard, um, what else? You know, the old man's resting place. Jacob's Rest, I don't like being near real, pure wise. Like this time safe. 
with lone wolf on it's like okay nobody's here right now but they're coming and you know they are with lone wolf off you could be walking straight in front of somebody's line of vision and you won't even know it you won't know it until they start blasting at you with your thompson or sumi if it's a sumi you're fucking dead but you get my point i don't like walking near anything special no matter what time of the match it is. I would rarely go for anything for anything special, to be honest with you. Because, like, seven times out of ten, somebody's camping near it. We have that conversation being used. Well, has been used. Grab some food. And I do got a shit ton of ammunition with me. And that's only because I feel like I'm going to need it. I feel like I'm going to need it. Rather have too much than not enough. You know what I'm saying? This phone is still ringing. Whoever picked it up is still in this match. Guys, have you noticed how quiet it was? We heard, what, maybe two shots? Well, two series of shots. And that's it. Out of the, what, 12, 10 people here? We only heard two shots. This puts me on edge. I said it on stream and I'll say it again. I feel like I'm the only one moving. Or we're all just staying out of each other's bubble. And that's crazy because this game is built around getting into somebody else's bubble. And there goes a bugle. And would you look at that? Somebody get, somebody now has the airdrop. Well no, it's it's uh in the field, right? While playing this game, I estimated that bugle to be about three houses down. No, they're on the other side of the outpost. Now that the bugle has said its uh, word, there's a gold, there's a container, not a gold container, but there's an airdrop on the field, and now it's gone. So one can only assume that a person who killed the guy with the airdrop went to the airdrop, picked it up, and now is about to leave. Or are they? If it's stealthed, why not stay if you got a bugle? If and only if you got a bugle. To all my new players out there, if you pick up an airdrop of somebody's body, leave. Leave. Don't come back. Keep your airdrop. Get your XP. Get your little uh, plan. You're going to need it. Now I'm running down here. And a random ass mortar strike goes off. But it's not random. Somebody called it in. And I believe right here is where I saw somebody for a split second. And I want to say, judging from the distance between that person and the mortar strike, he might be the one that called it in. What I'm expecting right now is for him to walk into or out of that house. But instead, he's the detector. And it looks like he has no weapon. That's what it looks like, but as we're here in H bar T and some nuts go off, the KS-23 is a concealed ass weapon. He might have one on him. We don't know. I don't remember it this far into the match. This guy can be running away. This guy could be in a corner. This guy be, could be prone in the bush. We don't know. Only thing I got going for me is that I hit him once and um wherever he lay it's going to be against white and it looks like he has on dark clothes so i should be able to see him unless he's hiding in a tree somewhere now i expected him to run into that house but the further i'll you know take us like a a circle around here i'm not getting shot at i'm not getting shot at at all I get the idea. He may be in a window. He may be. So I'm going to walk up here. Check these windows. Don't get shot at. What if he's inside the shed? Well, I'm going to leave it alone and keep going. Now, right there is when I realized, shit, I should have bought a PSD. And now the real airdrop is on the field. The real one. And again, I'm just doing a figure eight through here. 
I don't know where this guy's at. Check inside this house. I don't see him either. The detector is still on cooldown. I can't use it just yet. And I'm like, bro, is he prone? Did he run away? Like, what the fuck going on? So at some point, it's going to hit me. And he could have been in that, in that drainage pipe right there. I could have got shot right there. And you see, I look behind myself like, wait a minute. What if he's in there? The phone stopped ringing. Okay. Jump the guardrail. And I try to get back up here to use the detector. Because now it's off cooldown, I'm pretty sure. Come back up here. He's not up here either. He could have done a, a very sneaky move and gotten behind me. Just want to check. You can never be too sure. And now I decide to use a detector. And I find a safe spot real quick. Right here will do. Not yet. Not yet. Now. This guy's long gone. He gave me the slip. But do you see how many people are in the town right now? And that one dude is probably still in that house. Just because it's hard, doesn't mean it can't be done. Somebody can learn calculus. It'll be hard, but it can be done. I love calculus. You can headshot with an ADR-97. It can be done. It'll just be hard. And now, with radiation rolling in, I have an M21 on my, on my back right now. A whole M21 on my back right now. That is a way better weapon to get headshots with than the ADR-97. Huh. That gate makes that sound too. Now we, we stop in here for a minute. Reload. Relative safety. And I'm not going to lie to you. I see this window open and I'm like, wait a minute. Was this window always open? Remember, that time safe has not been tapped. It's still available. It doesn't hurt to be too cautious, you know what I'm saying? So I get the feeling that somebody is behind there. So what I'm going to do is, with my M21 out, I'm going to walk backwards. Switch to my ADR, just in case they pop up out of nowhere. Keep walking backwards. Remember, that time safe has still not been tapped. People can and will wait until the very end of the match before they do anything. The further I get up this hill, and then I cross up here, put my weapon away, and now it's just pure vision. Then I thought I saw somebody, and plot twist, it's the truck fender. Yeah. Like I said, it doesn't hurt to be too cautious. And now radiation starts coming in. And I'm going to make a smooth, clean run all the way to the exit. If you're going to ask, Jet, did anybody get the airdrop? There you go. It's still there. Nobody got it. Even though we've seen about four people, even though two died, because I killed one and that guy killed another person. The gunshots did not give everybody else a warm welcome. 
So, uh, everybody dead or gone. But I'm gone and not dead. Yes, there was only one headshot, but that's all I needed. And somehow, someway, that was about 3,000 experience. Cannot get mad at that at all. Cannot get mad at all. If you think it did well, go ahead and leave. If you want to stay off the radiation and, and, you know, brave the other people that may be staying after for two, just to get an airdrop, go right ahead. But make sure you got a plan. And 98% of my encounters, I always check about which exit I'm going to before radiation comes in. The more you play the game, the more you're going to learn how and when to plan. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.